Howdy Gumpla fans, this is Striker Zero, and it's Gundam Auto Review Time. Today we'll be visiting the 1144 high grade Gundam Throne Zvi from the first season of Gundam Double O. Now I do apologize if I butchered that name, my German, let's put it this way, my German sucks. Um, you can tell right off the bat, this guy is not your average Gundam colors whatsoever. For one, you have this very nice orange. You also have brown, which also, which really looks like a wood color. You also have white, yellow, some gray, black, a little pink. And for the GN drive, you have this really deep purple. Um, stickers, I only really used one sticker. Because everything else I pretty much hand painted. And that was the eye camera. Um, the eyes. Not too sure if you'll be able to see that. Let's zoom in. Um, you can kind of see it. Yeah, those pink, those eyes are also pink. Um, articulation. Articulation is very good for this guy. Head will nod a fair bit. Go side to side. And despite how long the how long the head is. It will rotate a full 360, and because there is another ball joint within the torso, you got some forward and back motion. Um, arm articulation, standard issue. It will not go forwards or back because these pieces are solid, but they will rotate a full 360. Go in and out pretty far. Uh, elbows are single jointed, but it's a good bend. Looks to be a little bit more than 90 degrees, not by much. Um, hands on the ball joint, so it will rotate a full 360 and fair amount of wiggle. Waist articulation, it will go about when usually it goes about 180, but. I'm not even going to try and force it. Um, apart from the waist articulation, there is a hip joint, so the legs can also go forwards and back a fair bit. Um, the side skirts, which hold the one piece that for the fangs, will rotate that far and that far. I also go in and out decent ways due to the polycap. Um, side skirts could be left together, but since it's the double ball joint you can actually cut apart so they can be let's see independent from each other and let me take this off it'll show off the leg articulation a lot better legs will go forward that much back that far in and out a fair bit knees are double jointed and for some odd reason these knee joints remind me of a one of my Evangelion models because there is a nice little gap as you can see honestly I do like that I really do um there is a joint up in the ankle so it'll go forwards and back a fair bit and there's also a ball joint which allows it to go side to side rotate a little bit and up and down a little bit more as well as you can also see this guy has no um, foot armor. Let's swap that back on. And accessories. Oh, before I forget. Um, this Gundam has these little fins. Honestly, I don't know what these are for. Maybe just decoration. Because they kind of look like um, tail fins you would find off an airplane. I don't know what purpose that serves, but it looks pretty good. Um... Now let's get to the accessories. First off, yes, you do see two beam saber handles. And while this guy does not come with clear pink beams, if you actually have a, mob a Gundam mobile suit from the first season of Gundam Double O that has the clear pink beams, they will plug in quite nicely. And they'll fit in the hand like so. And really, these guys are not going anywhere. It's a nice and solid connection. It's a 
tight fit. Not too tight, but you get the idea. Uh, um, let's see, let me plug that back in. Okay. Da, 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 da. There we go. Uh, the next accessory is the beam handgun. I also have painted this somewhat. Oops. Let me see. Let me get that. There we go. I have done some painting with this one. Because well, it was originally just looked really boring. And it clips into the back of the arm just like so. The back of the forearm. Okay, and there it is with the beam rifle. Now I do like this beam rifle mostly because it's not one that gets held in the hand. It's one that's actually on the mobile suit itself. And also at the same time, as you saw I flipped that open, you get this connector which will plug into here. Now this connector is mostly for the Gundam Throne Eins. So it can hook up for an energy transfer and the um, Throne Eins can actually use the um, Mega Particle Launcher. And for the final accessory, one of my personal favorites, is this really nice Buster Sword. I have also done some painting on this one. Because really the colors were inverted somewhat. And when it's not in use, it'll actually just plug it right into the shoulder, the right shoulder. And it will stay there. It's not going to go anywhere. As for actually using it, you do have to take the hand apart. Because of the size of the um, handle. It's a little too fat for it to fit in through sliding. But once you... Put in like the beam savers, it's not gonna go anywhere. It's pretty solid. And there it is the Gundam Throne Zwei with, or Zwei, my bad, with his Buster Sword. A fairly nice model. I spent about maybe 20 bucks on this. I can't remember. Now I only wish that Bandai would come out with a 1 100 scale. Of the thrones. Honestly, I do think they deserve it. I mean, we saw the um, Tyrion ground type, the Overflag, and several others. Why not the thrones? Huh? The thrones need more love. Well, maybe not the Dre. The Dre is kind of. The pilot's a little. Excuse my language, he's a little brat. No, that's. I was going to say something else, but yeah. So if you like most suits that don't have the same color scheme but look unique and have a giant sword yeah pick this guy up and I think that's pretty much it oh before I forget I'm looking at the menu there is a crotch piece there which you can take out and you put it onto an action base so yeah pretty much standard with all the other double O model kits so this is Striker Zero signing off